What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Flat Earth Theory. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so to start this off, I do just want to shout out Ashley and I'll leave her links down below, but her YouTube channel is Dead Girl Superstar and a couple months ago she did a conspiracy video talking about multiple things in Flat Earth came up so I went ahead and asked her if I could use this idea for a video of mine she said sure so I do recommend checking out her channel she has amazing content vlogs a whole bunch of stuff and she is gorgeous so to me it's a win-win go ahead check her out but I'm actually shocked with the outcome of what I found that the flat earthers believe and I pretty much used most of the information from their actual website so you know it's the actual facts it's not made up it's what they actually believe in because it's right pretty much on their homepage on their website. So here is the description of what they actually believe. They believe that the earth is a disc with the Arctic circle in the center and Antarctica is a 150 foot wall of ice around the rim. And according to them, NASA employees guard this ice wall to prevent people from climbing over and falling off the disc. That came straight from their websites and I have a couple issues with it. So first of all, if that statement is true and that's how the earth is a disc apparently, uh, wouldn't that mean that you would just be floating in space if you were to fall off and go out of bounds. You would just be floating there and not fall off the disc like they stated. I mean, to me, gravity is still a thing. So there's no gravity in space. You would just be floating there. You're not going to fall off the disc if their theory is correct. And the other thing, wouldn't it, because of global warming, Hasn't Antarctica been noticeably shrinking for over the past 10 years? Meaning, by now, there should be a hole or a gap in this so-called 150-foot ice wall, and all of our water is pouring off the edge of the disk, which is obviously not happening, in my opinion. Like, to me, it makes no sense. So right there, I kind of just proved that their theory is wrong, because I don't believe that in 2018 there is enough ice in Antarctica because of global warming to make a 150 foot wall around the entire rim on the disc. I mean, there's just not enough evidence to back that up. So I pretty much right there just proved them wrong. They also have a theory to gravity and this is where it goes off for me. I thought the other stuff, the first statement was crazy, but their gravity theory caught me off guard and I was not expecting it. So, according to believers, gravity is an illusion. Items do not fall downwards. Instead, the disk of Earth accelerates upwards at 32 feet per second. So according to that statement, what they're saying is if you drop something, here's my mouse, Instead of it falling down to Earth, it just floats there until Earth catches it. I don't think so. I, I just, I think that's pretty out there. I thought the whole thing was out there, but their gravity theory was really out there for me. I don't get it, because wouldn't that mean that we are just flying through space? making it easier for something to collide with us and to break us apart. So if we're a disc, like they say we are, if we're flying through space 32 feet per second, to me that's going pretty fast. If something were to collide with us, wouldn't we break apart considering we are a disc? Wouldn't we break apart? Like to me that makes no sense. If we were a disc and this gravity is a true statement, if this is how the world works, by now, I think we would have collided with something if we're going that fast through space as a disc. It just, to me, makes no sense. Um, they also say GPS devices are rigged to make pilots think they're flying straight when actually they're flying around the disc. I really don't think that is true. I think, honestly, if... 
I, I don't think pilots are just going to look at a GPS and say, hey, it says we're going straight, we're going straight. If they're actually flying around the Earth like this, instead of around like uh, the globe, they would have to be turn turning a little bit. They'd have to be tilting the plane a little bit. And I think a pilot would know if the plane's tilted a little bit. It makes no sense to me. Like that one was so far out there. They would know they're turning a little bit. Now it probably probably wouldn't be much, but still they would know they're turning a little bit and tilting the plane. So the one thing I have yet to find on their website that they have never explained their theory behind is they don't explain anywhere day and night. They don't explain how day and night works. And to me right there is a is a big red flag that they don't actually explain the number one thing that has been scientifically proven. They have no rebuttal for it. So to me, it is a big flaw in their theory, proving that their whole theory is wrong. And they also don't know what is under the disc. Some of them have theories of what is under the disc, but nobody has a complete idea. So this is a lot to take in. I do know all of this information came directly from their websites. This isn't me just making stuff up, saying what they believe. This came from the Flat Earth Society's website. So it's not me making it up, it is them making it up. So I don't know, it was pretty interesting. It was an interesting topic and it was pretty interesting to research. But at the end of the day, to me, I think it's pretty crazy. And I strongly believe that the Earth is round and I just don't know how in 2018 they can back up a lot of these statements because it's scientifically proven that the earth is round. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button and comments down below whether or not you think the earth is round or flat. I really want to see what you guys think. But if you guys are interested in me doing more conspiracy videos in the future, let me know down below in the comments. I do have some ideas and I think it'd be pretty interesting, but I'll leave the ball in your court. If you guys want to see me do more like this, let me know and I will deliver. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.